What's up everyone, this is Gaming Galaxy Zone. Welcome to today's video. Today is kind of a late video as I was supposed to post this last night. Problem was I was a little bit busy and didn't realize that FGO got an update until after I closed my computer down for the night. So I did know about this last night. I do apologize. I do like to get these out almost the second they release. So my apologies on that, but let's jump into it. Let's talk a little bit about the almost weekly Santa Altar event that'll be coming today sometime, actually, later this after, later, t actually tomorrow, my bad, um, a little bit ahead of the game. So this is a rerun, it is a light version of the uh, Christmas event that happened last year, wasn't a part of it, didn't have FGO by that point last year, um, I need to move this out of my way real quick, there we go. So, uh, about this event, pretty much straightforward, did some reading on it last night. Uh, it sounds like it's just going to be kind of like a NeroFest based system, you're just going to be grinding out tickets and rewards for the most part. Uh, your goal is basically just equip CEs that will have increased drop rates off of enemies, fight these enemies, get their drop rates, and exchange them in the shop for the materials and stuff that you need. Doesn't sound like there's any story to this event, doesn't sound like there's anything specific that you need to do, it just kind of sounds very simple. Um, like I said, it looks very similar to the Nero Fest event that we just recently had in October, I believe, early October, maybe September. Um, so yeah, that's that'll be going on, and uh, it's pretty simple. So basically, like I just mentioned, you're going to be gathering materials, certain servants will have rate up features, we'll go into those. Uh, not many of them, but enough for pretty much doing what you need to do. Uh, of course, CE drops, and then you can exchange them in for wonderful things. So, there's the quest period. Looks like there's going to be different quests throughout each day. Once again, kind of similar to the uh, daily changes in Nero Fest. If you played that, there was a new quest each day. Uh, but this sounds like it might be very similar to that. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just kind of basing it off of what we have here instead of doing research into it. So there's that. Um, of course, there is the. This is kind of what's similar to it. There's the grand p grand prize pool line. So you would roll in this little banner thing in order to get random stuff out of it from uh, drop stuff that you were fighting with. So uh, in this, you have the grand prize of the summon ticket for Santa Altar, uh, which is. Of course, Altera Alter, Alteria Alter, Rider class. So if you did not get her last year, you have a chance to get her again this year. So a couple things in this pool. This is the roulette lineup. So things you can get in it are crystallized lores, void dust, dragon fangs, evil bows, proof of a hero, and of course a bunch of skill materials for all of the classes, well most of the classes it looks like there's maybe one or two missing out of that. And of course other items include the blazes, both 3 and 4 star, golden fruit, silver fruit, bronze fruit, mana prisms, FP, points, friend points, QP. So, And then here is the list of servants that will have increased drop rates. So there isn't a huge amount of them in this event, but you can definitely, if you have them, you can use them to make this a lot quicker and there's of course the picture list of most of them I think that's all of them for this there could be more that wasn't in that picture so listing more about it there's your CE increased drop rates for these events you know there's gonna be four specific things uh, you got gold stars silver bells magical stockings and mini ribbons uh, all of which can be exchanged in the shop for rewards uh, the biggest thing out of that is going to be the five-star Holy Knight sign, which is a picture of Jean d'Arc, which looks very cute. Uh, pretty good CE overall. You've got increased quick card effectiveness by 8% and crit strength by 15%. Uh, it's pretty good for any type of like assassin or quick card user or servant. And of course, the free four-star if you complete the event is Altaria Pendragon Santa Altar. Uh, I have used her a little bit. I don't think she was incredibly great, but uh, I haven't used her too much in a while, and that was very early on, so that could change. Um, of course, being able to get her Ascension material will only be available during this event, 
so go ahead and get that this will probably be the last time this event will appear so if you do not participate in this you will not probably be seeing her in the future so if you guys want her i would recommend to get her because you will not be seeing her probably again after this event here so the shop trade-ins you can trade it in for the five star holy knight sign uh, ascension materials for rider caster and assassin monuments and dragon reverse scales you can also trade it in again for the ce serpent jewels rider pieces caster pieces and assassin pieces and then at the bottom here we have seed of your drazel uh, again the ce and the blaze of all heroes four star and three star along with hero crystals as well and finally what is in an event without a banner gotcha so this gotcha pretty interesting actually a uh, pretty good action of servants that i haven't really seen too much in a while as far as raid up goes so you've got jack the ripper jen key nursery rhyme robin hood and maria antoinette in this banner along with three uh craft essences so if you're definitely looking for a good assassin right now is a good chance to jump in and get that uh, Jack the Ripper is a fantastic assassin as far as being a 5 star assassin in the game. Uh, there's going to be a lot more of them coming out next year that are going to put her in a good upper place as well. Instead of making her the top, she'll be up there with a few other ones as well. So definitely this will probably be a couple one of the last chances until you can get that. If you don't, you can wait to actually roll on this banner if you're looking to get Jack the Ripper. In the end of the year we are getting the one guaranteed five star and the assassin banner is jack the ripper and jean d'arc ruler so you have a chance of pulling her there if you want to just wait um all depends of course you do have that 50 50 percent chance of it not ha uh, being jack the ripper and instead being jean d'arc ruler uh, both of which are pretty good servants but you know it's 50 50 depending on what you're looking for and of course here's just a quick look at the CEs and then it just talks about some of the servants and stuff in that. So it's a very simple, very easy banner. It's just going to be a lot of grinding. It's very similar to Nerofest. Um, I'm actually looking forward to this one because I just I don't want to jump into more story right now. I just want to do like a straightforward gotcha plan and go from there. So this is really, really cool and it's going to be super super nice to finally just get out there and jump straight into this stuff for materials because that's what i basically need right now is embers and skill materials so this will be a good great event um the second christmas event should be happening right after this one uh we'll probably see it a couple days potentially either a few days after this event or seven days after this event of course i will post a video about it as soon as it drops this way you guys know about it uh, so that is the NA side. I'm actually going to do two separate videos, so I'm not making it terribly long. Uh, this is the NA side of the game. JP actually has a Christmas event that just that is going to be starting, I think, tomorrow as well, um, if not about two days from now. So yeah, that's going to be a relight revival of uh, an event they just had last year, which we won't be getting until next year. So. Christmas all around it seems. Anyway, that's it for this video. I do apologize for it kind of taking a little long to uh, get posted out. I should have had it done last night, so I do apologize for that, but I'll try to make up for that in the future. Anyway, hopefully you guys have good luck with the banner and the pull rates for anything that you're going to be getting out of that, and I shall hopefully be grinding out the event myself. So might roll on this depends if i get quartz i have like no quartz right now so we'll see <laughs> anyway th that's all i have for this video i shall talk to you all in future stuff